So how long does a new worm farm take to get to this stage? Well, what you're touching here is the finished product. This is worm gold. This is called worm castings or humus. Now feel it, see how, what's it feel like? Um, moist. Yeah. It's like, yeah, it's kind of like a squishy kind of sponge. Yeah, like foam. Yeah, foam, like it's a bit like chocolate brownie, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. A chewy chocolate brownie. Exactly. Now, the worms are slower than compost. Compost might take three months. The worms will take longer, but they give you this. This is a, a much more intense product, right? This is really, 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 really good quality, okay? So that's going to take double the time. To, to make, but you can put this in your plants, you can, you can put it in water and turn it into a liquid fertilizer, you can put it in your potting mix and make your own soil, you can spread it around your trees, and what do you think this does? What, what can you feel? Well, how does it feel? It's like really squishy and moist. Moist. And what about the other thing, temperature? It's cold. It's cold. It's cold, yeah. So it holds water. It keeps the temperature even in the soil. So this is a really valuable thing to add to our soil, but its quality means it takes a little bit longer. All right. So th this is something that that once once it's time to harvest, you can use, and it, and it and it has that value. You know. So the the way the worm farm works, these are the legs and the base. And this, what do you think gathers in here? What comes down from the top? Water, liquid. The liquid, right. So this is where the liquid comes and then it pours out into a container like our little worm farm, all right? Then we put the first layer on and what's that? Um, the bedroom. The bedroom, exactly. We do the same layer, the same process. We can put the core fiber, the shredded paper, the compost as the bedroom and then the the pantry. the pantry, and when when that fills up, you put the next layer on. So this here is the current layer. Oh wow! When I lift this up, this is the doona. So the worms are hiding under here, and they don't like the light. Okay, so watch what happens. Have a close look, lean over, and you'll see the worms. See them all, and what do they do? They dig down. Yeah, they just go. Stop it! <laughs> I don't want to see the light. I do not want to see the light. But you can see how this is all breaking down nicely. Now, do you want me to scratch the surface and, and you'll see the worms? Wow. See them all in there? Yeah. And they're, look, oh, and look what's here. A familiar one. Avocado seed. Avocado seed. And look. look the inside it. Oh, wow. The worms are inside it and it started to grow. It started to grow in there. See the roots and the growing tip that's come out. So that's still going, but they are breaking this down really nicely. It's still got a little way to go, but look at, look at all the worms in there doing their job. And that, now what can you see in the color from this to that? Um, that's, that's a lighter. bit lighter. This is like darker. It's more brown and this one's more black. That's right. And that's a great way of telling that it's gone through the process because once they've finished with it, it ends up as this beautiful brown castings. The only thing you've got to remember is worms don't eat as fast as compost does. You can't put a bucket full of scraps in there and then put another bucket in in the week. It's going to take them a couple of weeks to get through it. And then you go again. It's going to be at least two, at least two to three weeks for them to get through it. And then you put it at the other end. And then the worms come up here and they eat it and then they go backwards and forwards and you can play like tennis. You go, oh, there's some food scraps, there's some food scraps. Or you put it all over the top and they just have a, a general party. When your worm farm is working really well, the worms actually release some liquid and that will dribble down and come out into a container and it'll be a rich, dark colour. And what you can do with that is dilute it about 10 to 1. So one part of worm juice to 10 parts water, and you can pour that into your compost. You can pour it around your trees, and that's like a, a fertilizer. It's like food. 
that goes into the soil and helps feed the soil and the plants. So what would you say to someone who has watched this and they're thinking, eh, maybe, maybe not, will I, won't I, compost worm farm? What are your thoughts? Um, I think they should do it because it's easy, it's good for the environment, it's, it's not hard. Are you converts? Are you, are you followers of the worm farm? Are you supporters? Are you worm warriors? Yes. Does compost rock? Compost, compost rock. rock.